great underlying story behind this matchup between Nebraska and Michigan tonight as another freshman phenom Bergen Riley serves to get us going. Off the Nebraska block, out of bounds. Michigan on the board first. Credit Saj McBurrows with the kill. Passing is the number one key coming into this game for Michigan. Being able to run their balanced offense like they did last night, passing is going to be key. Right out of the gates, they got it going. And here is Valentina Vallette. We were just talking about her. Watch this top spin serve. Harper Murray digs it. Becca Alec throws it over. And then kind of a reflexive hit by Brooke Humphrey, the libero. You don't often get kills as a libero, no. but a little pass kill. Throw it in there. I didn't think that Mark was allowed. It up. Aaron Virtue will take it. You played under Aaron Virtue when she was an assistant coach at Northwestern. A rewarding moment for her and the program to get their first conference win last night. Just three wins on the season for Michigan, but a lot of moving parts. This is a program in transition, but Aaron Virtue really will get this Michigan volleyball program where it needs to be soon. Erin Virtue is really focused on developing the group. She said that's her number one task this season. They've been dealing with injuries. They had departures. They're working to redefine who Michigan volleyball is. Here's Harper Murray serving number one overall recruit in the country coming into the 2023 season. And what do you think about Jitters? She's from Ann Arbor, of course. A lot of friends and family in the stands tonight. And sometimes, especially as a freshman, it's really new even playing on the road in the Big Ten. These freshmen have been adjusting all season. Marie has done an exceptional job at adjusting to some of these really big crowds that Nebraska has seen so far. There's Merrick Beeson, and she is stuffed. Kendall Murray on the pin with Jackie Boney, the Michigan middle blocker. Michigan right out of the gates, every facet of the game doing well, even in system. Kendall Murray identifies this pass going backwards, goes right back into the seam for the stuff. Brooke Humphrey serves Krause. Krause the swing. Beeson dug by Humphrey. Scotty Johnson, the Michigan setter, a tapper from Kendall Murray. Beeson flat-footed. Johnson sets the middle. Riley sets the back row. Dug by Johnson. Becca Alec down the line. Point Nebraska. Nebraska is so difficult to play because in these long rallies, they often outlast you. Hall of Famer John Cook. Nebraska off to its best start since they rattled off 20 straight in 2008. That was when Jordan Larson was on the team. Jordan Larson is in her first season as an assistant coach on the Nebraska staff, still playing and just got back from Olympic quals in anticipation of the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. Nebraska, two straight points. They're down one here in the first. There's Jordan Larson. Look at that coaching staff as a whole. Wow. So impressive in the addition of Jordan Larson this season. It's just her first weekend back with the team at games. We talked to her a little bit about just what it's like to be on the bench for Nebraska. And she said it's, it's interesting. She feels like she needs to start warming up before games. The Nebraska coaching staff would give the current Nebraska team a run for its money, I think. Jackie Boney, what a save by Harper Murray. Boney passes now to Johnson, over to McBurrows. Cross-court kill and a dandy. Jordan Larson, a decorated career both in college and in pro volleyball, and of course an Olympic gold medalist. Not much more she can do to add to her resume but she just loves the sport so much you can tell she gets a lot of energy energy being around the sport in any capacity playing or coaching jordan larson one of the best to ever do it in the women's game she came out of retirement now just qualified for her now fourth olympics so exciting to see her continue in this game and now be with one of the best programs in the country maddie cochran serves for michigan up three in the first that's way long Nebraska thought there was a touch from on the hit by Andy Jackson, but it's a point for Michigan. And 
Wolverines off to a great start here in the first set. Michigan is playing very good low air volleyball. That's going to be the key against a team like Nebraska who doesn't typically make a lot of errors. Both teams on night two of a back-to-back. -back. Nebraska was in East Lansing last night. They beat the Spartans in four sets. A point there for Nebraska. This is from Michigan's win last night against Northwestern. Their kills, leaders led by Kendall Murray with 13. The key last night for Michigan was being a very balanced attack. All five hitters that are normally in that rotation, nine or more kills. That tells you how balanced they were as Michigan gets that point. And that balance tells you how good the passing was for Michigan. They're able to get the middles involved in the play. Someone like Kendall Murray as well, a star for them last night. She gets the majority of the sets and last night being that kill leader, she felt like she, her connection with Scotty Johnson has improved as the season has gone on, really came to a T last night. Murray leads Michigan in kills and aces. She serves now and she serves right at Sister Harper and aces her up. A lesson from Big Sister on the volleyball floor. It's gotta feel pretty good for Kendall. She goes right at her sister, right down the line, but in between the seam, forcing her to move on this ball. Michigan up nine to four, and Nebraska calls a timeout. Kendall Murray leading the Wolverines. Just before the timeout, Kendall Murray serves for Michigan, number 27 to number 27, her younger sister, Harper. What'd you think, Emily? She got a big welcome from the bench after that <laughs> one, a longer huddle. I think Kendall uh, really liked that one. Probably go right back at her. It's Lexi Rodriguez on serve receive this time. Krause plants the ball for Nebraska. Big answer from Nebraska out of the timeout. Pass was a little bit off the net. Bergen Riley gets her feet there, sets this ball perfect to Lindsey Krause, who's able to crush it inside based on that set location. Lindsey Krause to serve now. Great serve. And an ace for Krause. Lindsey Krause has really elevated her game as the season has gone on. She missed a few in the middle there a few weeks back because of a shoulder injury from a car wreck, but she's back into this lineup and she's strung together a few really good matches, 418 in her last three. And last night, she was the most efficient hitter for this Nebraska offense that really struggled against Michigan State. Serving the ball really well also, that was her fifth ace of the season. Three of those have come this weekend. Rodriguez, the All-American libero with the dig. Here's Harper Murray, the high school All-American. And she fires long, a point for Michigan. Harper Murray, still early, looking for her first kill of the night. Murray trying to go for those high hands, just missing a little bit long. Expect her to continue to swing high. Jackie Boney serves for Michigan. Boney had a great night last night for the Wolverines, 11 kills. Bergen Riley to Merritt Beeson. There's a block, but out of bounds. Second time that's happened in this set. A point for Michigan, Valentina Vallette with the point. Vallette has such an interesting arm swing. It's kind of like a windmill. It comes all the way around and then through. This makes it a little bit more difficult to block because the swing actually happens a bit later. It's a great point. I was wondering with such a pronounced motion, that would make it easier to anticipate, but I guess not. Sometimes the blockers are a little bit early, then they're on their way down, coming from up. So sometimes that changes the angles of your hands and results in a few more tools for Vallette up front. Kennedy Orr in to serve. Number one recruit out of high school herself in her class. Niambio on the second try pushes it over. Becca Alec runs the slide for Nebraska. It's Valentina Vallette dug by Harper Murray at the net. It comes down on Michigan's side. Kendall from the back row. And Bergen Riley to Harper Murray. Johnson picks out Vallette. Point Michigan. 
Michigan's transition defense is so impressive tonight. Not only are they getting balls up and touching them on the block, they're transitioning them into good offense. Scotty Johnson getting all of her hitters involved. This is Michigan setter Scotty Johnson, the senior. Riley tries to dump it over, and Michigan just one step ahead of Nebraska so far in this first set. There is Jalen Rose in the house tonight, a member of Michigan's famous Fab Five basketball teams in the early 90s. That's some star power in the house tonight for the Murray Bowl. Huge star power. Bergen Riley over to Harper Murray. That's an overpass. Vallette dug by Beeson. Over to Murray. And that's Talon, a point for Nebraska. Murray with just a light touch over the block. She makes this ball almost fall down the hitter's back, which makes this tip so effective. Good pickup from Merritt Beeson, allowing this play to unfold. Bergen Riley. Error. Ball floating a little bit for Nebraska behind the service line. Michigan hadn't won a set in conference play before last night. Now they're one point away from 15 against unbeaten and second ranked Nebraska. Vallette serving for the second rotation tonight. That's out. Valentina Vallette finding that consistency and serve is really important. She definitely had it last night, stringing together ace on ace on ace. Finding that consistency is going to be big to try to get Nebraska out of system. Nebraska's defense ranked second nationally only to Pittsburgh in opposing hit percentage. It is hard to put the ball down against the Cornhuskers. Krause, a roller, and that works. And Lindsey Krause, true to form, has picked up where she left off last night in East Lansing. Lindsey Krause is a very shoddy attacker, meaning she uses tips and rolls a lot. What makes them so effective is she disguises them well. She looks like she's going to take a big swing until the last second when she throws in that roll shot or tip. The ambio too strong. Michigan thought there was a touch. It's not called that way. And a point for Nebraska. And Aaron Virtue very quickly over to the green challenge card to dispute that call. Based on the live look, it did look like Beckham. As you mentioned, it has to be indisputable, completely conclusive evidence, whether or not you reverse it or confirm it. Based on that look, it doesn't, doesn't look like a touch to me. Michigan was perfect on two challenge attempts last night against Northwestern. And that streak could be in jeopardy here. Called on the court, no touch. We talked actually to Aaron Virtue about that today. Hey, how do you determine whether or not to pull out the green card? And a lot of times you rely on the players. Sometimes an assistant coach, you might have a particular angle on a play. That's why it's so important to develop that trust with your players yeah. because you can run out of challenges really quick when you have players that are you know, signaling for a touch every call and you go and pull the card. You have to be pretty certain, especially with touch calls and challenges, whether or not you're going to get them. So the call stands. Point Nebraska. And... Michigan, as you said, Emily, it's only the first set, and, and they're down to one challenge. You've got to be very judicious about when you decide to challenge the rest of this match. When they start with two challenges, if you lose that challenge, then you lose a challenge. Fifth set, you get one more. Oh, my. Okay. Michigan was out of touches, but it's a point for Nebraska. And here come the Huskers now, just down two. Were they out of touches, or was that just a miscommunication? 
No one was playing the ball, but. Normally someone will say send it over, but I only can see. Nebraska settling into this match. Merritt Beeson, that's out. Not by much, but a point for Michigan. That ball really close to the end line. Nebraska certainly testing the edges of the court, going for right on the sideline or the end line. Merritt Beeson looking for high hands still, just haven't found them. Michigan putting up a really disciplined block. Krause's had the hot hand for Nebraska in the first set. Her fourth kill. Krause's bringing a lot of power on the outside. Bergen Riley is finding her with tempo. This allows seams in the block to form, especially when this pass is as good as it is. It holds Michigan's middle for just a second longer, resulting in the one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Lexi Rodriguez. Kendall Murray, dug by Harper. Beeson, dug by Humphrey. Back to Beeson. Krause, a tap and a pancake by Scotty Johnson. Murray lays out for it. Out, point Michigan. Michigan's defense really coming alive, making it difficult for Nebraska to put a ball down. Some incredible ups. Johnson with the pancake save. And Harper Murray diving in out of nowhere, but almost an overpass, and Nebraska can't handle it. Harper and Kendall's mom, Sarah, estimated that about six dozen friends and family would be in attendance tonight. The kill there from Andy Jackson, the freshman middle. Should have got a Murray count going and see how many times we say Murray tonight. <laughs> this one's all Jackson. Beautiful set from Bergen Riley, allowing her middle to chase that ball down in front. Over under 50. Oh, over wait, for wait, sure. Okay, I'm, I'm hammering the over. Murray, now I'm going to intentionally rack it up. Jackie Boney. We saw her clean up a lot of overpasses last night against Northwestern, and more of the same tonight. Tonight, Michigan is really taking control of the net up front. Already two blocks on the night. On those 50-50 balls, they're finding themselves on the better side of going up really strong and tracking that ball. Here's Kendall. Krause puts it away. How about that cut shot from Lindsey Krause? This ball in front of the 10-foot line. So sharp. This is so difficult to hit as an outside hitter. You have to turn your thumb down. That allows this cut shot to happen. Not a lot of hitters in the country can hit a shot like that. On the slide, Boney, a rare shank from Lexi Rodriguez. If you give Jackie Boney that line open on the sh on the slide, she's going to absolutely take a rip at it. Johnson knows to push it all the way out for because that is her bread and butter. Rodriguez gets ready for a serve from Mira Chopra, the serve specialist from Champaign, Illinois, junior for Michigan. That has a hard time for Harper Murray and an ace for Mira Chopra and Michigan. I wonder what Jalen Rose thinks about that. Beautiful serve right to the left side on the left shoulder of Harper Murray. But how about the hustle from those Nebraska defenders trying to keep that ball up? Bump pass from Scotty Johnson. Harper Murray bangs that ball down. Nebraska starting to find that offensive rhythm. Bergen Riley putting these sets in a perfect location for hitters to absolutely unload on. In this situation, Harper Murray going over the top of Scotty Johnson. That's how high she gets up there. First time Harper and Kendall have played each other. Three years apart, of course, they went to the same high school, played for the same club program, Legacy, here in southeastern Michigan, but they've never faced each other. That's a kickball from Scotty Johnson. 
Legal, of course. Becca Alec is blocked. Merritt Beeson dug by Kendall Murray. Vallette keeps it in play. On the free ball, Riley to Alec. Vallette, Point Michigan. Off the kick save for Michigan. You gotta do whatever you can to keep this ball up. Check this out, Scotty Johnson, looking like a soccer player out there. And how about the defense keeping these balls alive? Michigan really elevating their play from what we've seen this season. A timeout, Nebraska. Michigan to the red zone, five points away from a first set win. Scotty Johnson fresh off the kick save with the serve. Beeson with the kill. Mara Beeson out of the back row can be just as effective as she is in the front row. Bergen Riley knows when she has that lane to hit. Sometimes it's a one-on-one -on -one situation just like that. She's going to put it right down. An ace serve from Bergen Riley of Nebraska. One area of Bergen Riley's game that has also developed this season has been her serve. We saw it a little bit shaky to start. So far now during conference play, she's getting harder and harder driving those passers back. Her 10th ace of the season, and now Michigan calls a timeout with Nebraska coming on strong late in the first set. As you can imagine, this is a big match for Sarah Murray wearing the hat right there with the blue number two, the red number seven. She said she'd have a lump in her throat all game, probably would be crying for much of the game. And of course, a very emotional night under any circumstances for sisters playing each other in college volleyball, but especially because of the presence of their late father, Veda, who died of lung cancer back in 2011. Uh, needless to say, it's made the family even closer going through uh, such a tragic experience. And on behalf of a big sister, Kendall, she's very proud of what her younger sister, Harper, has accomplished. There's a special bond between sisters, especially when you share that passion and interest. Both of these players, Harper and Kendall, so into the game of volleyball. You know, Harper's credited Kendall with the fact that she says she probably wouldn't be playing volleyball if it weren't for Kendall kind of showing her the ropes throughout and really being that big sister and leader for her growing up. And Kendall talked about how she discovered volleyball a little bit late. She tried gymnastics. She got too tall. She tried basketball. She wasn't very good, in her own words. Then she found volleyball, and that opened the door for Harper to get started much quicker in the game. And Harper started playing volleyball at age 12 and almost immediately became a recruiting sensation. Of course, was the number one recruit in the country last year proud moment for mom Sarah and the entire Murray family. Error from Bergen Riley and it's 21-18 Michigan in the first. By the way, real quick, Sarah Murray asked all friends and family in attendance tonight to wear white, a neutral color to support both women. Valentina Vallette serves. And the kill from Merritt Beeson. That entire Nebraska huddle high-fiving Lexi Rodriguez because that is one of the toughest serves in the Big Ten to defend. Lexi Rodriguez made this look easy. Watch her sink her platform back into her body to control the pace of that beautiful pass resulting in the kill. Lexi Rodriguez is one of the best volleyball players in the country. There's an ace serve. Nebraska to within one, and Harper Murray serving for the Huskers. In that red zone, you want to see low errors from both sides, as little as possible in the last five points. And an ace followed up by an error. Much needed point for Michigan. They pull ahead by two. 
Harper Murray has had difficulty getting that serve and play over the last few games. Head coach John Cook says he wants to let her work it out. He's not ready yet to put in that serve sub for her. Brooke Humphrey serves for Michigan. Dug by Humphrey. Dug by Rodriguez. Blocked. Krause from deep. That's out. Point Michigan. This could be a confidence changing moment for this Michigan team that had a seven match losing streak up until last night, still trying to find their rhythm. This is when you figure out what you are, when you're three points ahead, two points in from closing the set against the number two team in the country. Great serve from Humphrey. And Krause tools the block. Point Nebraska. Big answer from Nebraska. Nailing that pass right away, getting Krause going with tempo, resulting in the one-on-one. -on -one. Krause just using her power to get through that block. Six kills in the first set for Krause. And it puts Lexi Rodriguez behind the line for Nebraska. She serves her counterpart, Brooke Humphrey. Beeson. Another dig from Rodriguez. And another kill from Krause. One point margin in the first. Krause has become the go-to attacker for Nebraska, but it's their defense that allows these plays to happen. Lexi Rodriguez making these plays look easy because she's in the right spot at the right time. Watch her, she moves out to her left, gets in between that seam and the block because she knows the hitter is gonna go right through it. That's what makes her so good. Her ability to read defenses is incredible, working so well behind the block in front of her. This has been a, a great set. Hopefully a, a harbinger of things to come. We'll remind you during this timeout that Big Ten Plus delivers thousands of non-televised live events, access to next day on-demand replays, multi-view to watch up to four games at once, and a 24-7 channel for your favorite school. There's no plus like home. Subscribe and stream for as low as $9.95 a month at Big10Plus.com. All right. Lindsey Krause, give me a highlight package on Krause. Oh, she's been incredible tonight, mixing up her shot so well. She's absolutely unloaded on a few cross court. Michigan hasn't found an answer for what she's doing, whether she's taking a big rip at it or throwing in a roll shot. Bergen Riley has found her go-to target tonight. She's putting it down. Krause out of Scut Catholic in Omaha. That is a volleyball powerhouse. And there's actually a Scott Catholic product on Michigan's roster as well, Morgan Burke, freshman setter. Feels like just about every match you and I have done this season, there's been a player from Scott Catholic on the roster. It's a good, good high school program. About as tight as it gets here in the first set. Saj McBurrows. That's a point for Michigan, and the Wolverines are on the brink. That's a big answer for Michigan. Going to the fifth year opposite. Good pass, fended off by the libero. Johnson gets her hitter one-on-one. -on -one. McBurrow's really stepping up when this team needs it. Matty Cochran, the junior, serves. Set point. Beautiful move by Merritt Beeson, reading the defense. Merritt Beeson has such great court vision. She can see that defense right in front of her, identify that massive hole in the middle of the court. Doesn't always have to be that hard kill. Sometimes just a little touch will do it. From Gardendale, Alabama, by way of the University of Florida, Merritt Beeson, a junior. First season at Nebraska. What a serve from Beeson, and we're playing extras in the first. One of the best serves that we've seen all night. Not only did it barely cross the net, it landed right on the sideline. Is that like a cut serve? I, mean, I haven't seen a lot of that from her. That's impressive.
Beeson outside the pin. Point Michigan. Mara Beeson working so hard to get a touch on that ball, just barely going outside the antenna. This is a defensive battle right now for who wants it more. Nebraska holds opponents to a 122 hit percentage on the season. Michigan is hitting 265 in the first set. By Nebraska standards, that is through the roof. Here's Kendall Murray. An error on the serve to tie us at 25. Now this is one of Nebraska's better rotations with Harper Murray up front and Andy Jackson. That slide attack is going to be key for the Huskers. And a service error on Nebraska. Lindsey Krause with the misfire. A lot of errors late in this first set is not what you want to see from either team, especially on the service line. You're okay with those serves going out of bounds if they're going to air, but in the bottom of the net, it's tough. It's a lack of focus. Mama Murray on her feet, as is just about everyone else inside Chrysler Center. Big serve here for Mira Chopra. Fourth set point for Michigan. What a crafty move by the freshman. A move beyond her years. Harper Murray with the kill. Late in the set, normally Nebraska takes those massive rips. They're having so much success with the tip right over the block. Michigan hasn't found a way to pick those up. The off blocker not dialed in. And they practiced that at serve and pass to save their arms for the match, but then it, it comes in handy in gameplay as well. This is Kennedy Orr serving. Johnson, surprise. Such a crucial time for Scotty Johnson to step up. It's a perfect pass. Everyone in this gym expects that ball to go to the middle. But she calls her own number and sends it over on two. A fifth set point for Michigan. Point Nebraska. It's a back and forth battle right now, Chris. Normally when it gets this late, it's really a question of who wants it more, who's willing to put in that extra effort to get a pickup, to be disciplined on block. Both sides showing they can do it. And neither team with a timeout remaining in the first set. Here comes a free ball for Nebraska. Beeson blocked out of bounds. Point Huskers. As we get later and later in sets, expect both setters to go to their go-to attacker. Merritt Beeson is the go-to attacker for Nebraska. Expect her to get a lot of balls, especially now that she's moved into the front row. And set point for Nebraska. Bergen Riley just cleared the tape. And point Nebraska. They win on a net violation. Huskers come from. How does Michigan respond after five set points and a first set loss to Nebraska? Nebraska opens the second set with a point, Merritt Beeson, but Michigan never trailed in the first set until Nebraska had set point. That was a, a window that closed for Michigan. That was one of the best sets that we've seen Michigan have this entire season. Only two hitting errors. They hit 286 against one of the best defenses in the country. Michigan just has to play their same ball game. Great dig by Scotty Johnson. Harper Murray. That's long. But a touch. Point Nebraska. Harper Murray continuing to go for that high hand shot, looking for fingertips on nearly every swing, just clipping them. Michigan out hit Nebraska 286 to 250 in that first set. Bergen Riley with the service error, and that puts Michigan on the board in the second. Nebraska having trouble finding some consistency from the end line. Five service errors just in that first set, and starting off set two with one as well.
Valentina Vallette, six aces last night for Michigan. Nearly won there. A great job and serve received by Laney Choboy. Kendall Murray is rejected. Point Nebraska. Huge block that started with an incredible play. The service pressure from Michigan forcing a free ball. Laney Choboy fending it off. But that results in a free ball for Michigan. But Nebraska ends up getting that stuff on a really tough block. So Kendall Murray aces up her sister Harper Murray who blocks big sister Kendall on that last point. Lexi Rodriguez keeps the ball up. Point Nebraska off the Michigan block. Bergen Riley doing an incredible job getting her middles going off of sets that might not be perfect, but she's getting them five, six feet off the net. She's still able to run them. Nebraska has carried the momentum of a comeback first set win into the start of the second set. Harper Murray from nearby Skyline High School. Serena Niambio timing not quite there with Scotty Johnson and Nebraska up 5-1. This ball passed a little bit too tight. Scotty Johnson though back row. She can't take this ball over. Kudos to Becca Alec for being aggressive up at the net. Dug by Riley. And Beeson from out of bounds. What a save. No, not quite by Scotty Johnson. Point Nebraska up 6-1. to one. Harper and Kendall both played high school volleyball at Skyline here in Ann Arbor. A lot of Skyline volleyball players in attendance tonight. And that was Harper who surprised her former volleyball team with a gift, shoes for the whole squad. That was pretty cool. Oh, it's so cool to see her do this for her former high school team. This is stuff you see in you know basketball or football programs. It's so exciting to see this happen in volleyball now. Just shows you what NIL can do. Right after Michigan wins the serve, Brooke Humphrey with the service error in Nebraska Right back on track, up five in the second. <laughs> Lindsey Krause pushes that one through Brooke Humphrey, point Nebraska. Brooke Humphrey in a great position to make that play. Hands just not quite strong enough with how much heat that Lindsey Krause is bringing. Hot start for Nebraska, up big in the second.
Nebraska found a way to get the job done in the first set, and they are cruising to start the second set. Great night of Big Ten volleyball, and how about this? Rutgers with an upset over number 16, Minnesota, three sets to one. Their first ever top 25 win. So cool to see this program continue to build under Caitlin Schweighoffer. That is a massive win and two tough losses this weekend for Minnesota as they go over on the Maryland Rutgers trip. They dropped last night's match against Maryland in five sets. There's a point for Michigan out of the timeout. They're down five now. What those scores tell you is just how tough the Big Ten is. You can't sleep on any opponent in this conference, even though they might not have the history behind them. Maybe they've been finishing near the bottom of the Big Ten in recent years. You can't sleep on a team like that because they are hungry for wins every night. Big Ten Volleyball on Saturday night continues alongside Emily Eamon. Chris Foster's on hand watching a very exciting matchup between Nebraska and Michigan for both on and off the court reasons. This match features the Murray sisters, freshman phenom Harper Murray of Nebraska and big sister Kendall Murray, a senior for Michigan. We saw a great first set. Nebraska came from behind and won 29-27 and now is in command early in the second set up 9-4. There is Harper Murray. She and her sister both wear number 27 in honor of their late father Veda Murray who was a star football player here at the University of Michigan under legendary head coach Bo Schembechler. Michigan with the point there, trying to claw their way back into the second set. Michigan did such a great job in that first set. They had five different set points, one of the best sets that we've seen them play. Nebraska came from behind, though, and did not quit all of set one. Aaron Virtue, first-year head coach for Michigan. She was an assistant here in Ann Arbor from 2011 to 2015. Kendall Murray with the serve, a dandy. Beeson from the back row, dug by Brooke Humphrey, the Michigan libero. And Jackie Boney puts it in front of Harper Murray for the Michigan point. We've seen some great Murray on Murray highlights, Emily. Oh, it's been so exciting. Right at the beginning of the match, Kendall Murray acing her sister Harper. Got a little bit excited about it. And in set two, we had a big stuff happen. Yeah, that time it was the other way around. It was Kendall who was stuffed by Harper. And a point here for Nebraska. This is the block that you were talking about. This is the block that happened. Kendall going up and Harper getting the stuff on her sister. Big smile on her face after that one. Kendall, as you can imagine, uh, like any big sister, very proud of her younger sister's accomplishments. Will be interesting to hear about how the, the post game discussion goes in the Murray household as that's Harper Murray showcasing why she was the top recruit in the country last year. The kill there for Nebraska. Smart play from Bergen Riley. Jackie Boney came running in after this chaotic play. They knew the outside would be one-on-one -on -one in that situation. After a relatively quiet start, Harper Murray is having a great match. Six kills, just one error, and seven digs. She gets served a lot as well and by and large has been up to the challenge this season. 11-7 now, Nebraska by four. It's been so impressive to watch Harper Murray grow throughout this season. Not only is she playing at a high level, but as a six rotation outside coming into one of the best schools in the country. It's been so impressive in her first year. Andy Jackson, another top recruit in that prize freshman class for Nebraska with the swing and the kill. Connection between Bergen Riley and Andy Jackson, so great this season and only gotten better. Sarah Murray, Kendall and Harper's mom is in attendance wearing a white hat with a blue number two, a red number seven. A lot of Murray friends and family are wearing white t-shirts in attendance tonight. Half Michigan script, half Nebraska font. Fun custom clothes too. Very, you, you gotta do it for a matchup like this. First time Harper and Kendall have ever played each other. They'll face each other again in Lincoln on November 17th. Probably expect that matchup to be just as packed as this one with fans and friends and family of the Murray sisters.
Scotty Johnson serves. Michigan trying to get back in this second set. Choboy receives an overpass put down by Serena Niambio, who had a great match last night for Michigan in their first Big Ten win against Northwestern. Niambio has been in and out of the lineup this season with injury, but she is back and better than ever. She's looking explosive over the last few matches, going up strong to put that one down. Nine kills, and look at the hit percentage for Niambio last night from nearby Troy, Michigan. Scotty Johnson saves the attack from Harper Murray. Niambio, this time Nebraska ready for her. Becca Alec did a great job fronting the middle for Niambio, taking away that line of approach, reaching her hands right back into the shot that Niambio wanted to hit. Becca Alec, the sophomore, entered play tonight, second in the Big Ten in blocks per set, trailing only Wisconsin's Carter Booth. Saj McBurrows. That was an error, a point for Nebraska. It's one of those plays you just gotta shake off right away. Volleyball, it's a game of errors. You gotta have a quick mind. Well, and McBurrows with her left wrist tape, she jammed her hand last night in the win against Northwestern. It was a otherwise excellent night for McBurrows. They feed her again. Burrows kept alive by Vallette. A joust. Rodriguez saves it for Nebraska. Over to McBurrows. Harper Murray with the dig. And that's out. Kendall Murray pulled her hands in at the last second. Point Michigan. How about that up earlier this game? Lexi Rodriguez making this play look easy. That is not an easy ball to track down, but she knows that hit her tendency. She's gonna try to swipe it off the block. She's there to get the pickup. There are not a lot of players in the country who are able to make high level plays like that. That almost works against her in a sense because she does make impossible plays look so easy that it's easy to take for granted just how good she is. McPurl's on the right side this time, and Choboy can't handle it. Point Michigan. Michigan has so much success when Valentina Vallette is back on the service line. She's ripping in bullets left and right, targeting that line shot right at Laney Choboy, resulting in the free ball. They're able to transition easily out of it. It doesn't have to be an ace serve for Vallette to be very effective. She serves Rodriguez, and Harper Murray shoots it out the back. Point Michigan, and suddenly the Wolverines are down two. That means a timeout for John Cook, but Michigan entered the weekend second in the Big Ten in aces per set. They got a lot of players that can hurt you from behind the line, especially Valentina Vallette. Performance electrified. You aren't made for moderate to severe Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, but Antivio is. In clinical trials, Antivio helped many people achieve long-term relief and remission. Infusion and serious allergic reactions can happen during or after treatment. Antivio may increase risk of infection, which can be serious. Although unlikely, a risk of PML, a rare, serious, potentially fatal brain infection, cannot be ruled out. Tell your doctor if you have an infection, experience frequent infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Liver problems can occur. It's time to ask your healthcare provider about Antivio. Go to Antivio.com to learn more about the number one prescribed biologic for Crohn's and UC. Antivio, Antivio, Antivio. Volleyball on the Big Ten Network is presented by Unleaded 88. Engine smart, earth kind. Midway through the second set in Ann Arbor. 
Great crowd inside Chrysler Arena. One of the largest in Michigan volleyball history. Many Michigan fans hoping to see an upset of number two, Nebraska, but there is more than just a spattering of red in the crowd here. Nebraska fans travel very well. And the Huskers, one of the best defensive teams in the country, trying to get one of the Big Ten's most dangerous servers off the line, and they do. Valentina Vallette with the service error at taking a, a bite out of one of our line judges, Lawrence Walden. He played it off, uh, kind of just hit his leg, and should have passed it up. Very nonchalant about it. All business. All business, and Henry Yunping Chen on the other line tonight. Harper Murray serves for Nebraska. Kendall Murray puts it down. Michigan's offense getting more and more dynamic, throwing in overload sets. That means you have a middle and an outside running in the same zone. It's very difficult to decide who to go up and block with because Nebraska's middle stays with Michigan's, allowing a one-on-one -on -one outside. Brooke Humphrey. Becca Alec with the quick arm motion. Beautiful swing from Becca Alec. This ball even a bit behind her head. What she does so well is adjust to this set. It's not the perfect set, but it's at least in the window to where she can hit it. And even though she overruns it just slightly, she's able to adjust her arm swing to move quicker. Four kills, no errors for Becca Alec. One of the big personalities on Nebraska's roster. It's McBurrow's tools to block. Jackson pushes it across. Point Nebraska. Nebraska is one of the best tipping teams in the conference, and I dare say the country. They practice it so often. Before every single match, they go through hitting lines and are only allowed to tip, and that allows them to work on shots and really place them well. You dare say. I dare say. I don't think I've ever said that. I liked it. It was uh, delivered with conviction. <laughs> Caught my attention. Saj McBurrows. Tough play, Harper Murray. This is Krause, kept alive by Beeson. Krause again. Able to hit the typical angle roll shot. Point Nebraska. Michigan's off blocker have to be so locked in anytime Lindsey Krause goes up to take a swing. She's throwing in a lot of tips and roll shots right over the block to the middle of the court. Michigan's off blocker has to come in and play those. That was Krause's 10th kill. She has just one error tonight. Krause playing her best volleyball of the season, shaking off a shoulder injury late in non-conference play. Great effort by McBurrows, but not enough. Point Nebraska, they're up by six again. Big move from Andy Jackson, identifying the off-speed early, taking a beat, and then going up to be strong. Four in a row for Nebraska and Michigan. Calls a timeout before this second set slips away. The Nebraska block, too much to handle. Look at that new titanium iPhone 15 Pro. Why don't I have one? You need to go to T-Mobile where new and existing customers can get iPhone 15 Pro on them. Hmm, I do need to switch to T-Mobile. You're very wise, Reflection Common. And you're very handsome, Real Common. You don't need hair. Yeah. Hair is for suckers. At T-Mobile, get the new iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us now and the freedom to upgrade every year. Lost Medicaid or CHIP coverage? Healthcare.gov is here for you. Where can we find a low-cost health plan? What about a plan that covers doctor visits? Emergency care? Prescriptions? With the new law, four out of five customers can find a plan for $10 or less per month with financial help. Healthcare.gov is here for you. Enroll today for coverage starting the first of next month. What's the website again? Healthcare.gov. Jordan Larson, one of the most decorated players in Nebraska volleyball history and equally decorated on the international stage. Three-time Olympic medalist, including a gold at the Tokyo Olympics. She's in her first season as an assistant coach on John Cook's staff. Hello, Governor. So cool to see Jordan Larson on this staff, not only just for the Nebraska po program, but now every time they go on the road, other people around the country get to see and witness one of the greatest volleyball players of our generation. Ramping up for a 
defense of that Olympic gold in Paris next summer. She was not with the team uh, up until two weeks ago because she was competing at Olympic qualifiers. Great to see Jordan, great to have her on the Nebraska bench wearing the colors of her alma mater again. Kendall Murray. Andy Jackson dug by Brooke Humphrey on the overpass. Jackie Boney with the swing and the surprise point for Michigan. That's a play from Jackie Boney. This ball sent right up. Scotty Johnson did a fantastic job digging this out of the net. When you're digging out of the net, the number one thing you want to do is just get this ball high so maybe someone can take a swing on it. And Boney goes up, she stays aggressive and puts it down. Maddie Cochran serves. Beeson blocked and touched last by Nebraska Point, Michigan. One final comment on Jordan Larson here. She wasn't the only ex-Husker to bring home the gold and uh, trying to run it back in Paris. Justine Wong Arantes, Kelsey Robinson Cook. I mean, that is uh, quite a trio there. A star studded roster full of Nebraska players, and so happy to have Larson back on that team as she came out of retirement a few years back to potentially qualify for Paris and they got the lock. And Jackson pummels that ball, but Jackie Boney says, Talk to the hand. Huge read from Jackie Boney. Look at this former Big Ten players on the USA Volleyball qualifying roster. The the three Huskers and a couple of Penn Staters as well, and Purdue, Wisconsin. I mean, what a great showcase to the depth of Big Ten volleyball. And and not, not all those players are recent grads either. Yeah, over half of the roster are Big Ten grads for the U.S. team. It's been so impressive to see people come through Big Ten programs and almost a pipeline because the USA staff knows that they're playing the highest level of volleyball in college and oftentimes go on to play professionally at some of the best clubs in the world. It's been that way for a long time. Merritt Beeson too strong on the serve and Michigan's facing an uphill battle in particular in the second set, but they're not letting Nebraska pull away. Yeah, only down three despite hitting below 100 so far the set in Nebraska hitting 258 but they're able to stay in some of these plays their defense really turning on. Krause off the block and a point for Nebraska. Krause continuing to hammer that middle of the court, this time going off the block. More of a miscommunication on Michigan's side. There's people in this zone to make the play. Valentina Vallette just he slightly hesitating. Here's Krause with the serve. Whoops, Boney got it over. Great adjustment, but a point for Nebraska. Really smart play from Bergen Riley, identifying there is no middle in her zone. She only has the outside to go up against. She sees there's chaos happening on Michigan's side, just places a ball right back over. Bergen Riley, just very quietly, a phenomenal volleyball player for Nebraska out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Other players on the floor more vocal, but you want your setter to be cool, calm, and collected. The setter position is one that you don't necessarily want them to be the rah-rah type of leader. A player like Bergen Riley coming in, getting better and better every single game that she's played with Nebraska, those connections shoring up. And yeah, like you said, you want her to be a vocal leader, but not necessarily in the exciting way of some of the other players. It might be okay. How about the dig by Lexi Rodriguez there? Point Nebraska off the touch, and the Huskers have set point. Back half of this game, Nebraska completely taking control. An amazing dig from Lexi Rodriguez, keeping that ball up. Andy Jackson with a little jump set. Vallette yes, yes, dug by Krause, overpass. Boney gobbles that up. Team over Michigan in set two. Nebraska off to its best start since 2008. 
when they won their first 20 matches of the season. And that service error gives Michigan the first point of the third. Now to put Vallette back on the service line, Michigan's best server. Ramping it up as this game has gone on. She serves Rodriguez, who's up to the challenge. Harper Murray pancake by Brooke Humphrey. And Murray eventually wins the point. Hustle play from Michigan coming in with the pancake. This set not on Michigan's side. More of a perfect set for Harper Murray to put this ball away. But Brooke Humphrey coming out of nowhere. Harper Murray, one of the most decorated high school recruits in some time. Gatorade National Player of the Year, first team high school All-American, an AAU National Champion, and has just, you know, I don't want to make it sound easy, but has been really an instant success at one of the top volleyball programs in the country in a lineup that is very hard to crack. Very hard to crack, and you see so many freshmen and newcomers in this lineup with Andy Jackson, Harper Murray, Bergen Riley setting, Laney Choboy. It's been impressive to see these freshmen come in, but have that experience as Michigan gets that block. All of these freshmen have come in, though, for Nebraska with a lot of experience under their belt. They've had a lot of time with Team USA, and it's paying off. Well, here are some Murray family photos. And again, if you're just joining us, Harper Murray for Nebraska facing off against Big sister Kendall, who plays for Michigan. Family grew up here in Ann Arbor, and a lot of pictures that you saw there with their dad, Veda, former Michigan football player, Ann Arbor police officer, who tragically died of lung cancer in 2011 when Kendall was nine and Harper was six. And you know, Kendall has, has been the epitome of a big sister to Harper over the years, and a, a very touching Instagram post. There's mom Sarah in the white hat. This is a, a very emotional night for the family and uh, one with a lot of friends and family in attendance and one that the family will never forget. Such an exciting time for both Harper and Kendall. First time they're ever facing each other. Such an exciting time for mom too to get to witness it. And the first of two matchups we'll get between the two this season. Rematch in mid-November in Lincoln. We have a, a cleanup. I think Bergen Riley, the Nebraska setter, might have a cut on her finger. There she is with a, a Band-Aid. Seems to not really know how it happened. <laughs> no worse for the wear, clearly. So, attention back to Lexi Rodriguez behind the line. Nebraska up early in the third. Saj McBurrows picks up the point for Michigan. This is a Michigan team that isn't just going to lay down and die. They're going to continue to bring the fight. It's a, a program that's in transition. Aaron Virtue, first-year head coach, who, by the way, we've been talking a, a, a lot about Olympics, Aaron Virtue, the head of the U.S. National Team Development Program before taking the Michigan head coaching job. Uh, she was named head coach of Michigan Volleyball on January 17th. The transfer portal was already closed by then. Michigan lost three of its best players in the transfer portal before Aaron Virtue even got the job. So it, it, it's a program in transition, but a program that will once again get back on track. It's a, a very successful program in its own right. Kendall Murray, it's kept up by her sister Harper. And Krause gets it down off a touch. Riley continuing to find Krause on the outside. Krause doing what she does best. She is putting ball down after down. Doing an incredible job finding the floor, even with two big blockers in front of her, going up and over. Jackie Boney runs the slide. Boney was Michigan's kills leader through two sets. 
And that's her sixth of the night. Scotty Johnson, Jackie Boney have had so many years to work on this connection, and it looks good so far. She's mixing up her shots well, and Scotty Johnson, that connection looks really good between the two. Kendall Murray serves. Great serve to Harper. Kendall from the back row. That's a point for Michigan to tie us up at five. Kendall Murray doing it all, nearly getting the ace, dropping it right in front of her sister. Harper making a good play to keep that ball alive. And then out of the back row, testing the edges of the court. Four kills for Kendall, eight for Harper tonight. And another kill for Krause, who's got 14 to just one error. Krause doing an incredible job. It helps when that pass is so good. Michigan really targeting Lexi Rodriguez. Not sure why, maybe they're missing their serve targets, but she's passing in a really high clip, allowing Lindsey Krause to go off in one-on-ones. Yeah, you mentioned that Lexi Rodriguez's dig numbers, that's an ace serve from Krause who can do no wrong tonight. The dig numbers for Lexi Rodriguez a little bit down because no one's serving her, she's that good. Anytime you talk to coaches, their number one thing on offense is we can't even hit to the left side of the court if Lexi Rodriguez is playing because she can pick up anything within about 10 feet of her. She's that good. Boney on the slide, denied. Good answer from Nebraska, allowing that defense to go to work on the slide attack, something that's burned them a few times this set already. Harper Murray making a good adjustment, keeping that inside and closing to her middle. John Cook with the sign, Krause with the serve. Andy Jackson scoops it over. Back it comes. Careless play by Michigan on a free ball, and Nebraska wins the point. That's difficult. Those are the ones you have to take care of. If you get a free ball, you have to be able to nail that pass and allow your offense to go to work. Timeout Michigan as Nebraska has rattled off four in a row. I really just fell in love with the look and feel of the Timber Tech boards. They just felt so realistic. I just wanted Timber Tech to feel welcoming to everyone and a place where we're going to make a lot of memories. What makes a trip unforgettable? You'll know it when you feel it. Make memories with Get Your Guide. Unforgettable travel experiences. When was the last time this place was cleaned? Oh, God. Oh. This place is a death trap. Monday. What is that? Shut it down. Your dreams. I came here to help you. We started off good. This looks great. Are on the line. But now we're starting to lose control. Why is the plane not ready? You can watch anytime. You asked me to help. So are you willing to change? Oh, God. Kitchen Nightmares, Mondays on Fox and watch anytime on Hulu. So here's what you do. Guy gets a sack. You go. Sacked you very much. What else? How about sack of all trades? Boom, sack of -laca. Sacaroni and cheese. I like sacaroni and cheese. Starving. I'm too sexy for this shirt. Well, but you could say that. I would say sacrilegious, but that would be sacrilegious. Okay, you ready for this one? Sackety sack, don't sack back. This was a really bad idea. Sack of potatoes. Ooh, how about suffering sackatash? Like that one. Volleyball on the Big Ten Network is brought to you by State Farm. Fantastic crowd inside Chrysler Center for a showdown between Michigan and Nebraska and 7,831 in attendance tonight. The second largest crowd in Michigan volleyball history. Nebraska is certainly no stranger to playing in front of large crowds. They played in front of 92,000 earlier this season. Harper Murray drills that ball and a point for Nebraska. But to, this is a big crowd on the road, and that's different than playing in front of 92,000 home fans. It's definitely different when you're playing on the road in these type of environments. When the 
fans are a little bit more nasty towards you. You know, you're playing on the road. It's difficult. They might be yelling at you. And Nebraska, you know, they, they all want you to win those 92,000. Paulette with that windmill arm motion picks up the kill. Such an impressive swing from Valentina Vallette, cutting this one so sharp. Watch her hand finish down back toward the court. That allows that cr cross court cut shot to happen. Vallette from Cordoba, Argentina, about two hours from Buenos Aires. Aaron Virtue, her head coach, went down to visit Valentina shortly after Virtue was named Michigan's head coach. Andy Jackson with the point for Nebraska. She heads to the bench. Here's Aaron. You played for Aaron at Northwestern. Yeah, one of my favorite coaches. She always brought such a positive energy into the gym and, and really balanced everyone out. She knew what to tell everyone at what given time. And she's such a connector. Those personal relationships are really what makes her such a good coach and an amazing recruiter. Maisie Bosiger in to serve for the first time this match. She picked up a dig as well. Wallette and another dig by Bosiger. Harper Murray off the Michigan block. A point for Nebraska. Nebraska certainly found its rhythm as this game has gone on. This offense so tough to stop, hitting over 500 in set three after hitting not so well during set one. Got better in set two, but Bergen Riley really leading the charge and improving this offense. Bolsiger again, long. And Michigan side out, down 12-7 in the third. coaching moment on both sides. Scotty Johnson into the net. Service error for service error. The final drive, it's presented by Auto Owners Insurance. It recaps the entire day of football around the Big Ten. That's coming up next. Murray dug by Rodriguez. Harper Murray down the line dug by Johnson. McBurrows. Niambio. Point Nebraska. Too easy for the Nebraska block. Nebraska's all around game really coming alive. They're tracking Michigan's hitters very well, lining up in front of the line of approach. And the blockers just waiting on some of these plays. Nebraska, it feels like, on the brink of running away with this third set, and therefore the match. Point, Valentina Vallette and Michigan. Vallette has played error-free volleyball tonight, her sixth kill. And if Michigan wants a chance to come back, this is one of their better chances as Vallette goes back in the service line. They're gonna need a big run from her to come back. You could tell that something was off just from the toss on that serve. Here are the remaining undefeated teams across the country. You'll note that two of those teams are in the Big Ten. Nebraska just 10 points away from moving to 15-0 and joining Wisconsin. But we got to shout out the Bulldogs yeah. repping the Citadel. Go Citadel. Come on. It's tough to be undefeated. We must protect this house. I don't care who you're playing. What a great up by Rodriguez. And the point to Merritt Beeson and Nebraska. It seems like we're destined for a clash of the Titans. Keeping my fingers crossed for that anyway, but nothing is easy in the Big Ten. I mean, Wisconsin's got to be looking at Rutgers and Maryland like, okay, those two programs have gotten better. Nebraska has got a ranked Penn State team coming to Devaney on October 14th. These used cars look the same, but how can you tell which one's the better deal? Bring in Dad from Sarasota. Hey, Dad. This one's broken. 
Dads are great, but let's say, show me the Carfax value. You'll get the most accurate price based on the vehicle's accident history. Look for me and stop overpaying. Shop at the all-new Carfax.com. The Mask Singer kicked off with an incredible reveal. I am so starstruck right now. And there's still so much in store. We've never seen that. The Mask Singer, all new Wednesdays on Fox and watch anytime on Hulu. Too many people parenting your parenting? Your baby deserves less. Two ingredients and nothing more. Water wipes. Purely protects. Going into break, we mentioned that Penn State-Nebraska game, and it's coming up next Saturday right here on the Big Ten Network at 7 Central, 8 Eastern. Top 25 showdown. Big Ten Saturday Night Volleyball. You'll love to see it. It's powered by Unleaded 88. Inside the Nebraska huddle there, you saw Jalen Reyes, assistant coach a moment ago, Aaron Virtue. And the Michigan Wolverines played Nebraska tough in the first set. Nebraska won 29-27, and Nebraska has improved its hit percentage gradually over the course of this match, Emily. McBurrows improves her attack percentage with that kill for Michigan. On Nebraska's offense, as you were saying, it's been climbing every single set. We've seen that as a trend for this team over the last few matches. A little bit shaky to start in some of these road games, but they've been able to find their rhythm as matches have gone on. Brooke Humphrey serves. That's long. Point Nebraska, 17-9. Well, this is, to your point, Emily, the improvement in hit percentage by set. Sometimes it takes just a little bit to really get used to a gym, get used to the opponent you're facing. But one thing John Cook pictured there, wants to see from his team, is the ability to start faster on the road. He hasn't seen it so far through the first four games. Lollipop serve from Lexi Rodriguez. Kendall Murray terminates. Big swing from Murray on the outside to get Michigan hopefully climbing back in this set. They want to go to her in these big moments. When this team needs to claw their way back, she's their go-to attacker. She's going to get a lot of sets from here on out. She's got five kills. Approaching 400 for her career. Merrick Beeson. There's so much talk has been surrounding Nebraska's freshman class, but this is one of the great transfer portal acquisitions across the country, Merritt Beeson. This is one of the best transfers for John Cook in, in recent years. She came into this program complete game changer. They needed that veteran they could rely on on the front line. She's been that all season. She does it all. True six rotation outside hitter. Harper Murray, speaking of six rotations, her 12th kill of the match. That might have been the hardest Harper Murray swing that we've seen all night, even coming from the back row in real time. Check out how fast that's coming down. Even in slow-mo, this ball's probably going to look quick. Yeah, good point. A double-double for Harper tonight. 12 kills, 11 digs. Just out for Merritt Beeson. Good communication on Michigan's back line. Partly Griskovich letting that one go because her libero told her that ball was out. Eleven serving, nineteen in the third. Make it twenty for Nebraska. They hit the red zone five points away from a sweep. Lindsey Krause has got two aces on the night for the Huskers. Vallette a second whack. Out of bounds, Point Michigan, however, on the touch. That windmill swing is giving Nebraska fits. Vallette going up there. She's been very tough to stop tonight, hitting over 350. Still no errors so far. Going for those high hands, targeting the back row passers well. She's got such hops, she's almost going up and over. 
Some of her teammates are trying to pick up Spanish phraseology, especially in volleyball lingo, to aid their communication on the court. Here at Chopra with the service error. Phraseology. Did I make that word up? I liked it. Okay. Well, I'll keep it. You can use it. I yeah, give you yeah. permission. I, sh I should copyright it, actually, before uh, it's too late. It is a word. All right. I, Point, Chris. Thank you to our crew for looking it up. I looked up speedy. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> That's off the block, and Valentina Follett with the kill. Michigan having a longer huddle than normal, trying to talk about how they can get back in this match. And it's been helpful when you have Valentina Follett with an absolute cannon for an arm up front. She's got eight kills, no errors tonight. We were talking to her head coach here in Virtue about her serving prowess, but Coach Virtue was quick to mention that she's a good offensive player as well. Didn't necessarily show it last night against Northwestern, but it's been on display against the Huskers. Great dig attempt by Vallette, but Harper Murray prevails. All night, Nebraska's been going to those roll shots or tips, whether it's from their outside hitters or Merritt Beeson on the right side. Tips have been really effective for the Huskers. Bergen Riley misfires. Nebraska already up to 12 service errors for the night. They've struggled from the service line over the last few games. That's going to be a focus in practice for them this upcoming week. Here's Vallette with a big top spin serve. Wide. You know, this is me asking you, Emily, but when you have just a boom or bust serve like that, do you have to have a secondary serve in case the big one isn't on? Oftentimes, yes, but with the player, she's been doing it for so long. Sometimes it's inconsistent, but she's always going to fall back on that. Harper Murray in her homecoming. That's in, but overruled. A point for Michigan, service error. Nebraska now 13 service errors tonight. This one's so close to the line, though. Harper Murray trying to drop it right. Oh. I don't know about that one. That was close. One line judge had in, the other had out. Based on that look, that ball looks like it might be, might be clipping. I'm no line judge, but uh, I think I'm calling that in. Look like there's space between the ball and the line. I think you can couple that look with this look. That makes it a little tougher. I I think it's in. I, I mean, by the slimmest of margins. But again, called out, so it has to be indisputable on the tape. And, and the officials do get some looks that we don't have. They reverse the call. An ace for Harper Murray. That's Murray's second ace of the match. And now it's match point for Nebraska. Harper getting excited about that one falling. She knew that was in. The player always knows. Three-time Big Ten Freshman of the Week, Harper Murray serving for match point. Krause ends it for Nebraska. The Huskers are tested early. But they sweep Michigan and improve to 16-0 with their ninth sweep of the season. Nebraska didn't start out. 
गिरानी हमर अखिया से गिरानी हमर अखिया से आसुआ गिर से दिलवारो ज्ञान गिरानी हमर अखिया से आसुआ गिर से दिलवारो हमर अखिया से 